This isn't just a hospital, because it's much more than just wards, halls, mocks, scrubs and busy people. It's brilliant machines, reaching beyond these walls, connecting doctors to hardware, to software, anywhere. Delivering better patient care, wherever those patients are. Because a hospital isn't just in a hospital, it's everywhere. I'm Sherry Thompson. My company is Global Resolve Africa, that's the consultancy. And the company that we're here to talk about is the winner of the Negawatt competition for Ghana. It's called Sunshade Energy. We actually entered the Negawatt competition and we came up with a concept of a building insulation that would mitigate against heat gain while providing basic lighting and we're using solar voltaic cells to actually collect the sun's energy and this, these cells are incorporated in a shade. So it collects the sun's energy, stores it in a battery, and we provide basic lighting using LEDs, which are very much energy efficient. So it covers the window space, just like this covers the window space. Uh, this particular shade can be a shade, it can be a blind, it can be anything that covers the window and actually stops heat from coming into the room. That's the number one purpose. The number two purpose would be that we're using solar cells so that we can collect that energy, that heat energy, store it in battery, and basically in the nighttime or in whenever anybody wants to turn on a light, they have that light from sunlight. We had DUMSA. I came back from another competition called the Climate Innovation Center. They had a boot camp at uh, Ashesi University. And I came in back into a dark room, and I was hot in the dark room, just lost the competition. I was feeling miserable. And invention came because I had a conversation with God and I said okay you said let there be light and there was light why, why do I say let there be light and I'm not getting any light here so I remembered that I, I met a woman at the Climate Innovation Center that had what we call OPV organic photovoltaic cells and that's the next trend in, in, in solar cells it's actually made out of plastic so I looked at that and I said, wow, what tools can be made out of this? And we had a conversation, we talked about it. We talked about making shading out of it and Negawatt was coming up. So I said, hmm, let me enter this idea and let's see if we can explore this idea. In the Negawatt competition, that's where we came together with a team. We came together with different components of what we would be doing. And ultimately we won that competition or that weekend competition and went to the boot camp. The boot camp phase helped us to, to flesh out our idea and go forward. We won that competition phase. We went to the accelerator phase with Gro Growth Mosaic, which is a, a company that's featured here today. And uh, from there, we won the final competition and the trip to Barcelona. It was a 10-day study tour of, of all of the energy efficiency and re resource efficiency that we can look at. And I gotta tell you, Barcelona is a smart city. And we're hoping Accra can be a smart city too. Basically, what we look at is what we call the human-centered design uh, approach. We actually ask y'all what you wanna have it look like. We, we wanna explore what people feel they want this to be like. And as we explore that, uh, people get an opportunity to be a part of the success story. So yes, we have an idea that we want to not only have this inside, but we have an outside or external shade. We also have the whole building facade being uh, a sunshade uh, uh, insulation piece. So we have several conceptual ideas that are gonna be fleshed out in, in the months and years to come. After prototype, 
um, we go into piloting because certainly we want to get all the information in a piloting stage so that we can start building our business model and, and, and when I say business model we can start actually seeing how the revenue stream is going to be, how the cash flow is going to be going, what types of things we're going to have to tweak in the pilot stage. So prototype development, you're developing something that can work within a pilot stage. Once you finish the pilot stage, then you say, okay, this worked, this needs tweaking, this didn't work at all. And you go with the designs that you now feel can go into full production and actually make money. The pyramid impact innovation. And so what we're doing here is we're asking people to, to look at themselves as our clients because we have hacked this solution down to where everybody with a window can afford this. And actually, if people feel that they can't afford it now, microfinancing comes into play so that they can afford it. What we've done in this country is we've told people that solar technology is too expensive. So we're sitting here wondering why people are not buying solar cells and putting solar cells in their homes. Uh, and solar panels in their homes, it's because they believe that this technology is too expensive for them. And once people believe that, they're not gonna adopt it. Sunshine Energy is a tool, an appliance that everybody can adopt into their lifestyle so that they can actually say, wow, I can afford this, I can go ahead and do something else to assist me with my electricity bills. I'm giving myself two years from um, this prototype phase to full production, and we're talking about an industry. We're talking about uh, a manufacturing concern. We have over a thousand solar installers in Ghana trained to do solar ins installation. We need to put them to work. So uh, we're looking at two years being able to push this out into the market so that people can afford to buy. And again, it's customized according to, to what people can afford, but our base of the pyramid uh, product, the first product, is easily installed by even the person that's actually in a home. If you have a window, you're my client. So we are Sunshade Energy. Our house is cool in the day so that you have light in the night. My background is as a biologist. Actually, I was pre-med at Cornell, so I took biology. And I took theater arts, which is um, why I, I really love communication. I really love being out there as a pitch person, as selling. I love doing pitch, pitch competitions um, because I think selling an idea is very important. And I actually am a salesperson. So my background, I used to do telemarketing. I used to do door-to-door -door sales. I used to do retail sales. I love selling and this idea to me is an amazing impact idea that will take over the continent of Africa as far as being uh, a, a piece that we can actually use to, to get off the grid, uh, to become more energy efficiency, efficient on the continent. Um, we can't go the way of the Western world and just use energy without thinking about what we're doing to our environment, what we're doing to climate change. This is what we did when we, you know, went to COP21 in Paris and, you know, Africa is there, the, the rest of the world is there, the developing nations are there. And we're looking at ourselves and saying, well, we don't want to do this because if we do what you did, we'll definitely be in trouble 50 years from now. So we've got to do something better. We've got to adopt smart technologies, use them efficiently, and build a society that is actually um, part of the ecology of the world, part of the environment of the world. The common mistakes, a couple of things. Um, people don't register their business. They kind of feel that they can kind of do this one man individual thing. When you register your business, you make a decision to become a limited liability or to become a sole proprietor, either one. But you have to make that decision. So you have to register your business. Number two, you have to trademark logo, trademark your idea, trademark what you're thinking about. One of the things I'm upset about is that we don't have a patent industry here. 
patenting ideas, actually owning your intellectual property. We actually have to go out uh, uh, to the US or uh, to Hong Kong or to, to Dubai to patent our ideas. We need to develop an international patent market here in Africa. I understand Zimbabwe has, a, has the patent market here. We need to embrace that market and understand how to deal with that. And, and how to incorporate that in our business strategy. Funding is always a problem. Um, for me, I'm at this stage of my funding. People don't really like to come into the kitchen with me, but unless you come in and you kind of say, oh, I got some carrots here, I got some onions here, I got some goat meat here, I got broth, I got the seasonings, there's a couple of pieces of something hanging up in that soup, but it's not soup yet until you come and add that, in, that input. People kind of want to wait until soup is ready, oh food is ready, uh, they're ready to chop. But that's not what we need as business here in Ghana. We need people to come and support, come and support the idea, technical skills building, uh, scale up skills building, um, you know, just, just even just giving us opportunity to, to, to get our idea out there. And that's something that needs to happen with what we call the enabling environment to business. Meet the Boss is brought to you by General Electric.